Iran's fourth generation F-14 Tomcat will take U.S. fifth generation F-22 Raptor. In the event of a conflict between Washington and Tehran, the best of Iran's fighter aircraft fleet is the Grumman F-14 Tomcat. The Iranian Air Force purchased 80 of the powerful fourth-generation fighters before the 1979, but deliveries were halted at 79 aircraft. Additionally, Iran had purchased 714 Hughes, now Raytheon, AIM 54A Phoenix long range semi active radar guided air to air missiles, which have a range of 100 nautical miles. When the F 14A was developed, it was amongst the most capable fighters developed by the United States during the late 1960s. The jet entered service with the U.S. Navy in 1974 equipped with the AWG 9 long range pulse Doppler radar which had a range of over 115 nautical miles and was the first American radar set to incorporate a track while scan mode to allow for a multiple shot capability. Coupled with the AIM-54, the AWG-9 could target six enemy bombers simultaneously. The Tomcat provided the fleet with a potent capability though the reality did not quite meet the Navy's public relations hype. Iran has upgraded its Tomcats with new avionics and potentially new weapons, but only a handful of Tehran's F-14s are in flyable condition perhaps as few as 20 aircraft. However, other than perhaps 20 Russian-made Mikoy and MiG-29 fulcrums, the venerable Tomcat is the Islamic Iranian Air Force's most capable fighter. In the event of a conflict, the F-14 would be Iran's first line of defense against an American onslaught. The stealthy Lockheed Martin F-22A Raptor air superiority fighter would almost certainly lead an American fighter. Compared to the antiquated F-14, the Raptor is a technological marvel and is equipped with some of the most sophisticated sensors ever developed for a military aircraft. The F-22 combines extreme stealth and sustained supersonic speed. It can cruise at just above Mach 1.8 without afterburners with integrated avionics and extreme agility. The Raptor's Northrop Grumman APG-77V1 active electronically scanned array radar and ALR-94 passive electronic support measures sweet would spot an F-14 from many tens of nautical miles away before the Tomcat had any idea that an F-22 was in the vicinity. The Raptor, having detected a flight of Iranian F-14 Tomcat and given the go-ahead to engage, would likely turn toward the enemy and launch its Raytheon AIM-120 DM ram missile which reported has a range of 96 nautical miles when launched from a conventional fighter from high supersonic speeds exceeding Mach 1.5 and at altitudes well above 50,000 feet it would be all over for the Iranian F-14S before anyone in the enemy formation would have any idea they were under attack. Even if the Raptors had run out of air-to-air -air missile and were forced to engage within visual range, the F-22s can use their stealth to close in unobserved to less than 1,000 feet to either kill the F-14s with Raytheon AIM-9X sidewinders or 20mm Vulcan cannon fire. Indeed, F-22 pilots flying during exercises such as Red Flag or Northern Edge will often sneak into guns range to make unobserved kills from very close distances by taking advantage of the Raptor's stealth. More often than not, the Raptor's quarry is caught completely unaware. However, if by some bizarre circumstance the F-22 is embroiled in a dogfight with the F-14 Tomcat, the chances are the Raptor will kill the Tomcat unless the American pilot suffers from extremely bad luck or makes a serious error. The Raptor holds all of the cards in terms of instantaneous and sustained turn rates, which in the F-22S case is greater than 30 degrees per second, and energy addition.
the Raptor's incredible specific excess power and sheer maneuverability combined with its new AIM-9X missiles makes it so that the odds are grotesquely stacked in the F-22 pilot's favor. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.